operational risk has developed in many fronts. So first of all, data is better and more comprehensive, so therefore better used. Scenario analysis has improved in terms of assessment of rare events. And finally, we understand the drivers of operational risk a bit better. So elements like business environment and internal control factors are included, increasingly included in modeling. Yes, there are many um, benefits to uh, operational risk modeling way beyond compliance and capital numbers, mainly because it forces firm to understand the drivers and the determinants of operational risk much better and then improve management. So there's real value for managers to understand what the modelers are doing and conversely for modelers understanding the drivers of operational risk so they know what, the, what they are the behind the distribution points. Well, the AMA removal that is uh, talked a lot about at the moment is, uh, is a real danger uh, for firms not to model operation risk anymore. There is a real risk that this whole activity will disappear to the detriment of the, the methodology and the understanding of risk uh, together with the risk sensitivity. The approach that is considered by the Basel Committee at the moment will not only be a disincentive, a strong disincentive to modeling, but also to management because the uh, approach that is considered is not risk sensitive at all. Therefore, your capital will not change whether or not you're a good risk manager, which is, of course, a very bad idea.